Hey guys, it's Jackpot G. Lars. I'm back at my Honey Hole Elementary School field. We found uh, tons of silver coins, jewelry, and uh, relics and buttons and coins that date back to the early 1800s. And I haven't been here for like three weeks. Um, I hunted a lot of it out, but I knew there was going to be stuff left, of course, because you can't hunt the place out ever. So I'm right in the middle of the field right now. And I didn't even think I'd be able to get enough stuff for a video. But, um, so I got it right there in that hole. I was getting a 60 signal. And, um, it's actually a broken, like, flat button. Well, it's not really flat, but it's a broken button. The shank would be there. It broke off. And I was like, I was like, wow, yep, definitely still stuff here. So, then I swung here and I was getting a 50 signal. And I was expecting a nickel, guys, but I think that's a, a fatty IHP. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's a thick, it's, it's a coin and it's thicker. I think that's a fatty IHP. Which is only the second Indian head penny out of here. And it'll be the first fatty. Hope that's not a green mark. I'm gonna do a little, little thing. I'm gonna put like dirt. I'm gonna put dirt in my pocket and keep it in the dirt to keep it moist until I get home. All right guys, I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. I moved over to the playground area. This is where I was three weeks ago, my last hunt. I got a mercury dime, like literally right over here somewhere and a few wheat pennies. I got wheat pennies like all over the place. And I really, really hunted this place out. I've been here for like two hours after the thick Indian head penny and there's just really not anything. And this is the only high tone I've gotten, like deep high tone. And I think it's so funny, the amount of wheat pennies I've gotten in here, probably like 100 that the last two coins I pull out are not wheat pennies. Guys, just hit silver. I'm not sure what it is. Another mercury dime. Oh, it's an older one. It says 1920. That's the 10th mercury dime out of here. 1920. I think that's the second 1920 out of here. Wow. All those wheat pennies I found here. The last two coins were a thick Indian head penny and a mercury dime. And it's so shiny. They come out of here so white it's hard to focus. 1920. Let's put it in the nice black dirt. 1920. High tones come in bunches, guys. I'm, I'm probably like 10 feet from where I just was. Where is it? Up there it is. I don't know how I missed this one. This one was a lot clearer than the last high tone I just got. Hopefully it's another silver. Now, it's, I, I'm probably going to jinx it. Now we're going to get a wee penny. But you never know. Let's see. Mega jinx. But I can already see the date, and it's a 1920 wee penny. We got a 1920 mercury diamond, a 1920 wee penny, and a thicky IHP, and a broken flat button today. So I mean, I mean the signals here are so so few and far between now. But then when when it when you get one, I mean it's always going to be like a solid find. That's why I love this place. Anyway, guys, let's see if we can find some more. I think I got a nice coin signal like right there. High tones come in bunches. It's been like five minutes since the wheat penny, and then two minutes before that, I got the mercury dime right all along this um, track, and then there's the playground. And um, I'm going to show you the numbers when I go over it. Honestly, don't know how I missed that the, uh, all the other times. I know I was just down on this side of the field the least amount, so I knew there had to be a few more things. All right, it looks like it's going to be another old coin, hopefully silver. Let's see. Definitely jinxed myself. I could see it's a coin in there. It's definitely gonna be a copper coin, so it's probably gonna be a wheat penny. Yeah, I can't really tell yet, but yep, there's there it is, wheat penny. Hopefully an older one like the other 1920. It looks like it it might be it's in decent shape. Anyway, let's see if we can find some more. Coin number four. Here are the finds from the honey hole field, my special spot. 
Here's like uh, some like side trash. This is an old lantern piece, pretty cool relic. Annoying hot rock. They're all over the place. I want to bring one to show you guys like a weird metal rock. Brings up like a deep coin annoyingly sometimes. I got 143 in clad. Uh, those are the good finds. This half of this is the trash from the hunt. That other half it's the next hunt. I'm like I'm like six seven videos behind, so I got trash piling up. Um, and now to the good finds. Here's the little flat button. Not really flat button, but broken. That's what a shank would be. I got two wheat pennies, but you could, they're good years. 1909, the first year they made wheat pennies. 1909, pretty toast. And 1920, we were able to see it right as we pulled it out of the hole. It's actually like harder to see now, but 1920. Then I got a thicky Indian head penny. That's only my second Indian head penny out of here. And uh, the other one I couldn't get a date off of. And this one's a thicky 1862. It's pretty, pretty roasted, but 1862 thicky. That was right next to uh, the button. And then I got my 10th Mercury Dime. Another 1920, but this one's a 1920S, which is awesome. Because I have three 1920s, but not a 1920S. So that is a great find, and I was really happy with that. Good thing I decided to go... I'm still going to go back there because of this, but imagine if I was like, oh, I definitely finished it. No, no, no. There's definitely always going to be stuff left over. But uh, this place is pretty good and keeps producing. And uh, I'll probably head back there another day, maybe in a couple weeks or something. Let you guys know. Thank you for watching, and happy hunting.